Hello, donut. Look what I found. At my desk was this. What is this? This is heavy. That's right. You guessed it. It's unboxing time. So I'm gonna get a knife. Go into the stripper room. Double click on my face. Let's uh, let's make it cozy in here, man. Okay. So I know what this is, but you have no idea. So that's why I'm doing unboxing. It's just people love unboxing for some reason. Uh, whatever. <laughs> this comes from Poland. And oh sh and in Poland they know what they're doing. They know oh shit. T-shirts. Oh shit. T-shirts. Oh shit. CDs. Holy shit. Okay. It's a bunch of CDs. No, it's actually more than that. Thank you for the CDs though. I mean holding it like this, it doesn't look too exciting, but I know it's gonna be exciting. And I guess. This is a sponsored segment, uh, because uh, I think I got these for free. What could this be, you might say, and ask? Dude, okay. What? Dude, there's a lot of shit here. There's just a lot of black stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is it, you might ask? Well, we're gonna find out, okay? Don't worry. I'm just trying to make you guys excited. I know it might not be very exciting, but for me, it is exciting, okay? It's not like a new amplifier or anything, I know, but it's something else. It's plastic. <laughs> I might have to speed up this section right here because this is, uh, this is tougher than I imagined, actually. All right, there's not a lot of things in life that makes me frustrated, but uh, this black plastic uh, is making me really frustrated right now. Just saying. All right, not sure if you've seen this, uh, when I've been demoing the Quad Cortex for the past uh, couple of videos, you might have seen that it actually has this uh, protective uh, plastic on it that uh, keeps you from not, you know, bumping into the screen and whatnot. Look at this, this pops off. So you got a screen protector right there and basically a chassis protector. It's not very invasive now, is it? Take a look at that. So I talked to the guy who makes these K and K shields about making a couple of extras for me and for my different type of modeler. So here we have a bigger one. What do you think this is for? Let's find out. Okay. So, I have this little asshole, the Fender Towmaster Pro. I think this is for that. Look at that right there. That is protecting right there. I wonder if there's something else that goes on this thing. You know what, I'm not sure I'm doing this uh, right or wrong, so let me just put this to the side. Uh, for the time being, and let's check out this. I'm a fucking moron! Look at that! The uh, the feet are supposed to be underneath, so you can... No, you're the moron, okay? It's not me. It's not me. That's why I'm the best. You guys, that's why I'm the best. The best at reviewing shit for you guys. What the fuck is this, you might ask? Well... I ask myself the same question basically every single fucking day. Oh, that made a cracking sound right there. Olaf Schultz! With a little force, everything works. Okay, look at that. What the hell is this? Okay, I don't know. <laughs> oh, now Olang Lund Schultz understand a little closer of what everything is. Here's another quad cortex. I have two quad cortexes. So here's another protection for my second quad cortex. This is good to have live, by the way. I'm not saying that everyone needs protective shields for their gear, but if you're playing live like I'm doing, you know, there's gonna be people spilling beers. There's gonna be Olas falling over. 
the gear and maybe damage the unit and whatnot. It's really just an extra protection to have something like this on your pedals and your gear. Since it's a tight squeeze, I'm a little bit concerned that I might break something uh, with these when I try and mount them. This little part right here gets slightly bent because the, the squeeze, it's just too tight. And I might actually damage the thing. For future references, Ken, A, uh, Ken AK, uh, these are insanely tight and almost do not fit. Uh, and if they fit, you have to push down and then these pins will uh, bend, you know? So uh, maybe that's something to look into in the future of making these so people don't get mad. I rarely get mad about things, by the way. This is not making me mad. I'm so extremely happy they sent me these. Perfect. Let's move on to the next. This specific one right here, I think is for my, yes. This right here is for the FM3. Take a look at that. So we have, boom, bakalaka. Oh, ooh, that's nice. On the side of these, you have magnets, which makes placing this on. Ooh, look, did you see that? Where it just, dude, that's amazing. Look at that. Holy shit. There you go. That's for the FM3 right there. Some protection. And I mean, the FM3 is already very rigid, probably one of the more rigid of, uh, if you compare it to like the, the Tone Master and the Quad Cortex, this one is more heavily built and probably does not need the same type of protection like the others do. This one doesn't have a touchscreen either, so, uh, you know. Yes, but at the same time, very cool. Knee protection, there you go. So now you might ask, well, what is this for? Well, this right here, my friends, let me show you. This is gonna be good for my demo purposes. Take a look at this. So we have this right here. Boom, right there. It's a stand for the freaking thing. So, you know, it's good if you wanna do a little bit of editing on the fly, you actually see the screen, it's right in front of you like that. So perfect if you have your Quad Cortex, your Tone Master Pro uh, on your desk with you and you wanna be able to do quick edits. Let me try it with the Tone Master Pro right there. Look at that. That's really freaking cool. But Olaf Schultz, uh, Olaf England is not entirely sure what these things are uh, on this Tone Master thingy right there. Did I miss something? Uh, anyways, the brand is called Ken AK Shields and they make these for the Fender Tone Master Pro, they make it for the Fractal FM3 and the Quad Cortex. And for me, using this on the Quad Cortex, for instance, when I'm playing live, it's just the shit. I feel extremely protected now that I have this, you know, on here. I'll shove a link to the Ken AK Shield uh, thingy in the description of this video. And yeah, there you go. Look at that.